Hi guys, so here is how to apply for a job on Uproc. The first thing to do is to open your Uproc account and sign into your Uproc account and then right here you check your connects, make sure you have connects. Once you've checked that, just you know scroll down and find the job. Okay, let's use this as an example, SEO blockchain writer. So just click on the job you want to apply for and then um okay so the first thing you want to check is the client reviews if the client has really bad reviews say three stars and below you really want to click on that and read the reviews the client has just to see why the client has a bad review and if the client does have really bad reviews then you don't want to apply to that job okay so to apply for the job, just click right here where it says apply now. However, if you have a new account, you want to check right here, you know, check the number of proposals. If you have a new account and there's over um, 50 proposals, then it's not advisable to apply for this job because first of all, if you're applying late, then, um, you're probably gonna get you know to the bottom of the ranking again if there are plenty and tons of people that have applied then there is a high high chance that you know the people there have better profiles than you simply because you're new to upwork okay so you want to apply to jobs that have lower competition usually 20 proposals and below okay so just click on apply now so once you click on apply now, you would be required to write a proposal, um, choose how much you want to be paid, and then you know submit your profile for the job. Okay. So the first thing is right here is to choose the profile that you want to apply for the job with. So you can use your general profile or your specialized profile. You can use your specialized profile if you feel like this specific job um, is much more suited to any specialized profile that you have now if you don't know what a specialized profile is or how to create one make sure you check out our video on how to create an an upwork um, specialized profile okay so once you select the profile you want to use for now i'll choose general profile then right here under the terms you can see uh, the bid or how much you'd like to be paid. You can just choose five dollars because that's the lowest uh, upwork allows. And then select the duration. You can choose less than one month. And then right here, you can impute your cover letter. Okay, so a cover letter is just your proposal, and it's very important. There are three steps to writing a good proposal. The first step is to, you know, identify the pain point, okay? Identify the pain point, identify what the client cares about, okay? The second step is to, uh, uh, you know, prove that you can do the job, okay? To show what you will do for the client, okay? And then the third one is to include a call to action okay so let's write a proposal for this job so right here the job says looking for content writers that can easily write about cryptocurrency blockchain tokenization decentralization and nfts articles should be precise and text should be accurately described but target is more a general public audience with varying degrees of crypto um, knowledge okay very good very easy to understand so now let's write a proposal so first of all what do you think was the pain point of that client the client needs someone who knows a lot about crypto and is able to explain these concepts in very simple terms so you want to put that first in your proposal because when you submit your upwork proposal or apply for a job the first two sentences 
are going to show up even before the client clicks on your profile so you really want to nail those okay so don't waste your time saying hi dear client good dear client no go straight to the client's pain point okay so the first thing that i'll write here is um um the pain point of the client which is um I can write stellar content on crypto, NFTs, and blockchain in simple terms. Okay, so this is exactly what the client wanted. And you've just, um, you know, summarized that and told the clients that you can do the job. Okay, so I can write crypto NFTs and blockchain uh, content in simple terms. Okay, then you go ahead to explain more about what you can do for the client. Okay, um, um, you know, just say here on Upwork. Or in the past, I've written on similar topics, and as a crypto enthusiast, I will write top notch content for. Okay, any audience you choose. Okay, so right here we have a good introduction because it talks about the fact that the client wants someone who can write in a tone that's easy to understand. So once you've written that, you move on to you know showing what you can do for the client. And the best way to do this is to you know show proof of your work or you know talk about people that you've worked with so after identifying the client and talking about what the client needs you show that you can do the job so you say i have written for binance okay bloomberg and crypto brokers like <laughs> And crypto brokers like Kraken, and I would love to work for you. Okay, so again, you mention any qualifications you have right here. So, for example, as a graduate of finance, I understand the intricacies of crypto and the world of finance in general okay so very good um, explanation of you know where you've worked and you know qualification you have that can help the client so your call to action should sound confident and um, should compel the client to take action. So this is one that I really love to use, okay? Think you've seen the best crypto articles with to you see what I can do for you okay so the reason that i really love this is because it doesn't tell the client to send your message but it makes the client curious about what you can and um, what you can do okay and it's very good because everybody's saying send me a message send me a message but the client doesn't have any reason to send them any messages unless the client's attention is gotten and the best way to do that is to show uh, show confidence, 
show the clients that you can get the job done and sound like a professional. You're not begging the client, you're telling the clients that you can do the job and that they're missing out if they don't hire you. So this is a really good proposal. You can just pause the video and read this, okay? And once you're done writing that, you can decide to boost your proposal. This is just a feature on Upwork where freelancers can set a bid or boost their proposals using collects. But if you're new and you don't have tons of, of collects, don't bother. But if you do, you can click right here and then set a bid. So right here, you can see the highest bid is five collects. But you can outbid this person or you can just you know put in six connects and then your uh, proposal would rank on top of this client's dashboard okay so you can just click on send for two connects and then accept upbox policies and then yeah accept upbox policies and then yes send for five connects or two connects whatever and right there your proposal is sent so you just have to wait for the clients to get in touch with you okay i hope you learned how to write an upper proposal and apply for a job if you did then kindly give this video a thumbs